Valley for the official kickoff of the 2010 Western Michigan football season uh, with our annual media and photo day. We have with us three players today, starting with Jamal Berry, senior safety in the center, offensive guard, senior Phil Swanson, and just joining us, sophomore quarterback Alex Carter. We're going to get to the players first, and then we'll have Coach Cubitt come up. Uh, first, a couple bits of information. Uh, the Broncos returned 15 starters, seven on offense, six on defense, two on special teams. Uh, we returned four all Mid-American Conference honorees in Juan Nunez, Robert Arnheim, Ben Armour, and Anthony Parker. The Broncos opened the 2010 season at Michigan State, and we will be the first Mid-American Conference team during the conference's era to play at Notre Dame, so we're very excited about that. A little bit about our student athletes we have with us today. Uh, Jamel Berry had five interceptions in 2009. That's the most by a Bronco since London Fryer in 2006. He scored a defensive touchdown on the first play from scrimmage against Miami and uh, had two interceptions on the road at Eastern Michigan. Phil Swanson has started 36 of 37 games on the offensive line for the Broncos. He is a two-time ESPN the mag or excuse me, ESPN the Magazine Academic All District 4 and a 2008 ESPN the Magazine Academic All American. Alex Carter is the Broncos' newest starting quarterback as we enter the 2010 season. He's had two years in the offensive system here with the Broncos. He appeared in eight games in 2009, completing 71.4% of the passes he attempted. We will get underway first with Jamel Berry. Jamel uh, will ask you to give a brief statement about the excitement about the upcoming season, and then we'll open up to questions. Jamel Berry. So, how you doing? Uh, pretty much uh, this year, you know, we're coming in with new coaching staff, as you know. Uh, the whole emphasis on this year is pretty much we want everyone getting to the ball, just being high intense, motor type defense throughout this season. Um, hopefully that's just what you see. Uh, coming into the 2010 season. So, any questions? Jamal, talk, Jamal, uh, defense, talk about depth in the defensive backfield. But as I look at the depth chart, you see John Price is third. Uh, if we say to you, there can't, what is your, your feeling about the depth and, and, free, and safety and in the defensive backfield? Um, pretty much with the depth, like you said, like all throughout the defensive back secondary, I think we have good depth. I mean, we have everyone that has some type of experience. If not good experience, they had some years under their belt. So going into any game this year, having that type of experience from last season is, is a positive. It couldn't be nothing, anything negative about that. So I feel good and strong about our secondary all over from corner to the safety position. Feels good, mainly because we got, like I said, we got players that all had experience throughout the year, whether it's sophomores or juniors. Um, we have good speed at, at all from X to Y to Z. All receivers, they're all giving us good looks out there. It does nothing but make the team better overall. Um, pretty much going into the season gives us real good confidence because we know guys out there is going to get it done pretty much. So, I mean, that's the best thing I can say about that. what we expected. We're fine to the ball, for one, but uh, we can always get better. We have to get better. You know, we still have a few weeks still to, you know, mold those little kinks or whatever it is that we have to do to get to where we need to be, you know, before the first game. But as uh, far as everyone flying to the ball, first, second, and third team, you see everyone, even the young guys, at least just getting to the ball and making an effort. Even if you might not even know what your assignment is, at least you're going to hustle. And I mean, that process comes because you're a young player, so you have to learn it's a lot thrown at you coming in your first year, but I think we, we're on a great track. Who's a player on the defense people don't know much about what they're going to find out about You just have to see this year. I'll tell you, to be honest, which is a lot of players we have that's going to be playmakers, and that's not 
you know, anything just to give you a safe answer. But honestly, I think all over from the D-line to the linebackers to the secondary, you got players at every one of them positions is going to give you something. So um, that's just something you have to look forward to. Treat it as any game, any other game, you know. You can't be overwhelmed. You know, everyone coming in this year, we've been at State already. If not, you at least been there. You know what to expect. Just not to be overwhelmed when you come into situations like that, whether it's, whether it's Notre Dame, State, or whatever like that. Just, I mean, just already having that mindset and the focus that we're going to get one thing accomplished, and that's getting a win, and that's pretty much it.